As we inch closer to Venezuela's presidential elections, set to take place on July 28, Western media have started to turn their attention and effort into their usual propaganda campaigns aimed at anti-imperialist nations attempting to reinforce the American narrative. For the past 25 years, US-sponsored coups and economic sanctions have shaped the narrative around Venezuelan politics. Western media, notably the New York Times, have often been accused of bias and of supporting US regime change policies. This bias is evident in the recent coverage on Venezuela, where Maduro is frequently labeled as authoritarian, rather than mentioned by name, setting the ground for the negative tone. Allegations of election manipulation are central to this media narrative. Articles claim that Maduro's 2018 victory was a sham, with opposition figures such as Leopoldo Lopez and Enrique Capriles barred from running. However, these claims often omit context. Lopez was convicted of attempting to overthrow the government, and Capriles was banned for administrative malpractice. These omissions, of course, skew public perception and support the notion of unfair electoral process. U.S. involvement in Venezuela's political landscape extends beyond media narratives. Economic sanctions, for example, have been a significant tool in undermining Maduro's presidency. Following the Barbados Agreement in October, which allowed limited oil transactions, the U.S. reimposed sanctions in April, claiming that Maduro had not fulfilled his electoral commitments. These sanctions have had a devastating impact on Venezuela's economy, contributing to widespread poverty and suffering. Despite this, media outlets often downplay their severity, attributing the economic hardship solely to Maduro. The opposition's chances in the upcoming election have been highlighted, with figures like Edmundo Gonzalez shown as leading in biased and historically unreliable polls. Western media often ignore or under-report pro-government marches, focusing instead on opposition rallies and dubious turnout figures from opposition primaries. This selective reporting creates an illusion of overwhelming opposition support, which is not necessarily reflective of the broader population sentiment. A significant point of contention is the disqualification of Maria Corina Machado, a far-right opposition figure barred from running due to a political ban. Media reports misleadingly suggest that the Barbados Agreement guaranteed her candidacy, but it did not. Machado's appeal to the Venezuelan Supreme Court, a procedure agreed upon in the Barbados Accords, was rejected based on her own previous corruption and endangerment of national assets. Yet this context is often omitted in Western reports. The upcoming Venezuelan election is a focal point for Western media, which continues to propagate a narrative of authoritarianism and electoral fraud. The impact of US sanctions and biased reporting twists public perception, overshadowing the complexities of Venezuela's political landscape. In reality, there is one thing that is backed by evidence, which is the American interference in Venezuelan politics through attempted coups and sanctions to influence public opinion against one of the staunch supporters of anti-imperialism in Latin America.